my favorite Pokemon from each region. Now, let me list out the rules for this. We can't include any starters out of any of the regions because the point of the starters is to be one of the coolest Pokemon in the game because that's the Pokemon you use from the beginning. And I mean, other than that, why... Why, why would there be any rules? Now, first starting off with the Kanto region, we have Kabutops. This was the easiest pick when I was like writing down all of the Pokemon that I wanted to pick for this video. Kabutops is just the most incredible Pokemon. The fact that there are extinct Pokemon in the Pokemon game and you're able to retrieve them and bring them back to life was the coolest concept ever. And not only that, Kabutops evolves from literally one of the lamest looking Pokemon into the coolest looking Pokemon. And I really just have a big soft sauce for fossil Pokemon because all of them are cool. There's no not cool looking fossil Pokemon besides Omastar. Kabutops is also one of the mascots of one of my favorite Pokemon card sets ever, the fossil set. That set is just so awesome and the holographic and the rare card is just so beautiful in that set. And to this day, I blame the fact that I used to have a huge obsession with the scythe from Fortnite when I used to play that game was because of Kabutops. So there's no way Kabutops was not going to be number one for Kanto. And next up in the Johto region, we have Tyranitar. Tyranitar is definitely one of the coolest evolutions. It starts out as this tiny little cute rock Pokemon that's probably like six, six inches tall into this ugly freaking face Pokemon into this monstrous Godzilla rock monster. Tyranitar is six foot seven, weighing 516 pounds. So basically, he's like every black guy in jail. It makes sense why he got the dark type. <laughs> like, guys, you can't bl you like. Hashtag nerd periods over party. Next up in the Hoenn region, we have Metagross. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never used this Pokemon, and I, I haven't used half of the Pokemon from the Hoenn region. But I'm just saying, Metagross is the coolest looking one. I don't know what it is with the Hoenn region having so many cool metal Pokemon. But we have Metagross, Agron, and yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know much else about Hoenn. I'm so uneducated. This is like, I think this is my least played region. Now, next up, we have the Sinnoh region. Sinnoh region is definitely one of the coolest regions is because they gave so many old Pokemon such amazing evolutions and just they made so many awesome Pokemon. It does kind of suck though that most of those Pokemon do kind of like evolve from trading with like holding some mythical freaking rare item but they're cool but in the Sinnoh region my favorite has to be Electivire gen 4 managed to take a gen 1 Pokemon that wasn't like it wasn't that cool looking but it had potential and turned it into one of the coolest looking Pokemon ever Electivire is definitely one of the coolest electric types in fact the coolest what am I saying and not to mention the coolest rivals in Pokemon ever Paul from Diamond and Pearl used Electivire and was the last Pokemon he used in that one episode where they're fighting in the league. And God, that, that was like, those three episodes were the coolest episodes ever. Now, next up, we have the Univer region. And I feel like this is a super simple pick. It has to be Crocodile. Black and White came out in what, 2011? How did it take 13 years for them to make a Crocodile Pokemon? That really just doesn't make sense to me. It seems like one of the simplest picks. They made a Magnet Pokemon before before they made a crocodile Pokemon. What's up with that? Why did why did it take so long? But yeah, Crocodile was definitely one of the coolest Pokemon in the Unova region. And I remember Ash's Crocorock with the, the black sunglasses. I don't know if he ever evolved it to Crocodile though. Why doesn't Ash evolve his Pokemon? Next up, we have the Kalos region. And like, I'm gonna be honest, I also haven't played this game much either, but at least I've beaten this one compared to Hoenn. My favorite Pokemon has to be Sylveon. As much as I hate the Kalos region, the Kalos region did introduce one of the coolest things, which is the fairy typing, which was the first type to be added since Gen 2. I'm pretty sure that's like 10 years of no new typing. And even more, I have to give it to Sylveon is because it's the only cool fairy type. There's really no cool fairy types in Pokemon at all besides Sylveon. Sylveon's cute, Sylveon's competitive, Sylveon's strong, Sylveon's amazing. And next up is Sun 
and moon which by the way i haven't played at all uh it's Salazzle. it's literally the only cool looking pokemon other than the donald trump pokemon it's a fire poison type which i'm pretty sure that's the first of its kind and also that pokemon is one thick lizard now last but not least we have i think sword and shield i've never played sword and shield either and i really don't know any pokemon from sword and shield but i'm pretty sure uh alolan nine tails is from that region which is the coolest looking pokemon ever now let me do an honorable mention list for each region real quick because there was a lot of them that i really really wanted to include but they just weren't my favorite but they were like second favorites so for the kanto region we have aerodactyl another fossil pokemon that's amazing for johto we have kingdra definitely the coolest dragon pokemon and the most annoying when it has a rest for hoenn agron that's simple agron's just another metal type from hoenn that's amazing in Sinnoh, we have magmortar another pokemon that evolves in a very stupid way but is one of the coolest pokemon and like in that list rhyperior magnezone magmortar all those pokemon are so cool in unova it's electros personally one of my favorite pokemon i love electros and then kalos tyrantrum it also took 15 years for them to have fossil pokemon but make a fossil pokemon a a tyrannosaurus rex anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video and sticking with me if you did enjoy it it would mean a lot if you left a like and comment your favorite pokemon from each region because i want to know your guys's because i know mine's a little weird and i bet your guys's are too but yeah, thank you for watching the video. I'm still new to making Pokemon videos, so it's not perfect yet. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm making new ideas, and that's all that matters. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.